So we're gonna restring this clav here. Um, one thing we're not gonna do is weave these strings between the yarn business. We're just not gonna do that. Weave clava gel. This is gonna be great. It's gonna, it's gonna make changing these strings a snap. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen up all the strings. And while I do that, I'm gonna line up the, the post so that the, where the string goes in is they're all gonna be going the same way so it's easier putting the strings on. Okay, you can remove this uh, crusty glue stuff with a flathead screwdriver, just kind of pry it up. Pry the strings off of the little comb there. So you're just gonna unwind the strings from the, the key post. Um, you know, be careful, sometimes there could be some sh sharp strings poking out. Now that the harp is bare, it's a good time you can clean the, the hammer anvil and get off all that old hammer tip residue if there is any. Just clean it up. You can also clean the, the bridge with some steel wool, kind of shine it up. Now we're gonna lay down the first piece of clava gel. Um, you're gonna notice that there's a bevel to it and you want the thicker side of the bevel to be towards you, closer to you. To trim the excess clava gel, an easy way to do it is to just press it into the old yarn anchor where the yarn was wrapped around um, and glued down at. You can just press it into that and it kind of acts as a serrated knife and just press it into it. Um, now that we got the first strip down, we can start restringing. Our new string sets come with a transition gauge between the 22s and the 9s. That's 11 gauge string for three strings for F, F sharp, and G. And this is just gonna smooth that transition out. Stretch. Don't stretch too hard, you might break it. I do this sometimes, I, I like to kind of give it a slight little bend in the direction it's going on the bridge there. Helps it kind of set. And this is where um, lining up the post holes comes in handy, because now that hole is in a convenient spot each time, so you don't have to go looking for it and just pull it through and just bring it up to tension. Give it a stretch so it sets in the post. Hold this to it. You can use some side cutters to cut off the excess strings. Now we want to space the strings so uh, that they're um, lined up perfectly over the magnets so and they're in set to 10. So you're basically just going to slide them over. While you're spacing the strings to the pickups, you want to make sure that the pickup is in the right position so that when the strings are spaced to the pickups, they line up nicely over the hammer anvil. Before you tune your strings, you want to inspect your key bed to ensure regulation is spot on. You want to verify your hammers are only making contact with the appropriate string and not the strings before and after.
You also want to make sure the hammer comes down on the anvil just about flush to the edge. Before we start tuning, we're just gonna put the uh, top layer of clava gel down and we're gonna trim the end. You want to space the magnets about four inches apart, but ultimately, it, once you have them all on there, you want them to just be somewhat evenly spaced. Once you have them spaced as how you want them, you can begin to glue them down. Um, the, the base ones tend to slide down, so we use some masking tape to hold them while the glue dries, and the others you can just glue. Now you can um, put on the clips and pretty much just one at the, the end, one in the middle, and one at the other end. So in most cases, just the magnets alone will be fine, but if you're gonna be moving it around a lot and having it in a road case and getting bounced around a lot, the gluing the magnets and adding a couple clips really helps secure it so that it won't bounce off or anything. That's all there is to it. The Clavagel works way better than yarn and takes a fraction of the time to install. You can get yours at vintagevibe.com.